there guys, dm 73 here bringing you the second deck profile of the day. This is Nyx uh, Green Grim. It's actually a black white green uh, Grim control. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. We've talked about Grim before in a lot of different decks. Uh, can pay four fairy tales with will of any attribute. Uh, and can pay one and discard a fairy tale to search for a fairy tale. So a lot of tutoring, a lot of making use of all the different fairy tales in the deck, uh, combined with like a control package, and then a little bit of darkness to kind of um, serve as more spot removal and heavy hitters. Stone lineup, uh, four gusting skies, four black silence, four of the, the black, and then three basic magic stones of wind. Uh, we run Gretels in the deck, green is obviously the counter engine, so we always want to hit our green stuff um, with Gretels, and then uh, obviously the black and the yellow uh, and the white to be able to play those other cards like Mephistopheles, the darkness package, and stuff like that. So, and the reason why we dropped the blue was because we weren't using any blue cards other than Cheshire Cat. Uh, and so there was really no need for blue will, so we went. Uh, he went with basic green stones instead to make it so there's less hits for him for uh, split heaven and earth if he needs to in the early game. So again, for more mana ramp, will ramp, we have three elvish priests to serve as additional green hits, and then the start of the fairy tale package. Uh, pretty staple in the grim deck for treasure cats because we can pay for them with any will. Um, and it's an amazing card. Three Tinkerbell, oops, sorry. Three Tinkerbell, um, to serve as kind of your early game aggression and heavy hitter slash blocker. Um, this card can get really big really quick, especially with a lot of low drop fairy tales that this deck has. Uh, so it can, it can be real monstrosities if you can get it protected. Um, for Gretel for more Will Ramp, uh, to be able to grab those green stones. Um, to Glinda to serve as uh, game one spell cancels uh, against things like Abdul, as well as to make things like your Tinkerbell unblockable so they can get free damage in. Um, having a searchable thing that makes your cards unblockable is really, really powerful, uh, plus the added effect of making it be able to cancel spells. Um, really, really good right now, especially with so many Abdul players out there. Uh, then two Eye of the Pilots and two Etnas to serve as like cheaper lockdown uh, ideas plus full board wipe or full board locks with Etna, something that the deck can utilize better now to be able to to kind of go for game. Um, really, really powerful. And then only three Hamlets by Piper. Really not a need for four anymore because we have Etna. So just cutting it down to three makes you have room for other cards in the deck. And then the Darkness Package is two Cinderella to serve as board wipes. It can also serve as a mini tutor for your Eye the Pilot if you don't want to spend for it. Uh, two Pumpkin Witch to kind of say GG, like if you have a well-established board of creatures and you just need to swing in for that extra bit of damage for game, just play Pumpkin Witch and just destroy. And then one Mephistopheles to kind of be your main answer to like J Rulers and stuff like that. Um, especially since you have lots of treasure cards, so you have free things to be able to banish him at the end of the turn, uh, and he can kill pretty much any J Ruler there is right now, so you just play him, keep him safe for a turn, and then kill their J Ruler if you need to. Moving on to the spell package, we have the cancel package of three Zeeks, two Cake Zone, and something he added was two Law of Silence. Um, he did this because uh, he wanted to be able to stop Abdul players um, from interacting with him on his turn. So he just plays this during his draw phase potentially, or plays it during their turn to really disrupt their play if he's on the if he has advantage um, to be able to secure something. This is a card that's going to need to be seen a lot more, I think, with so many control decks out there. Being able to shut them down for a turn during your turn, especially for only two will, is really important and. Grim decks usually have lots of will left over during their draw phase anyway, before they untap. And then uh, three store, uh, Tell Fairy Tale, standard in kind of any kind of Grim control deck to be able to grab out your Pipers cheaper. You can potentially even have a turn two Hamlet's by Piper. 
And then to serve us some last minute spot removal, we also have a couple of stoning to vests to deal with those things that our boards can't handle and we need to just kill it with a spell. Um, we have a couple of stoning to deaths to wrap things up. So yeah guys, that is the profile uh, that was designed by Nick as I said. Uh, I really like this version of the Grim Control list. Uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. I think it um, takes into account what is currently being played uh, to be able to, to see see what it needs to see and stop what it needs to stop in a very effective way. So yeah, go ahead and let me know what you thought of the deck. If you're working on a green control deck, what uh, you did differently. So as always, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, this is DMO73 signing off.